Welcome to another Art Fabula video. Uh, it's been a long time. Uh, I have been doing a lot of things, uh, very much just working and working and working. Uh, and I'm preparing something uh, big, but I'm not going to show this big thing uh, just yet. Uh, but I can say one thing. You will see, you are seeing something in this video that I haven't presented to the public yet. Uh, I hope you uh, like it, uh, if you find it. <laughs> uh, today I'm going to talk about something that a lot of people has been ask me, asking me. Uh, and this thing is a painting mask. So you are going to learn about painting mask today. And you are going to learn uh, something, uh, well, how to use the painting mask, but not just that, but the quality of the painting mask you are going to find out there when you do your art toy. Uh, so for the, the, the first thing we need to, to know, we need to do is to define uh, what a painting mask is. Uh, a painting mask is a very simple concept. It is just a, a part, a product, something that uh, covers some part of the figure. And then when you paint it, you only paint that part that isn't covered by this uh, thing. Um, and there, is, there are a lot of kinds of uh, painting mask. Um, one uh, kind of painting mask, the cheapest one, uh, is tape. <laughs> you can use tape to, to just cover the parts you don't want to uh, paint. A lot of uh, designers, a lot of uh, creators use tape just to mask these this parts. Uh, but there are a lot of uh, kinds of, of masks too. For example, the liquid mask. Liquid mask, I think I have a few. Uh, uh, liquid mask uh, uh, bottles there. Uh, but they are just, it's the same, same thing, but in liquid form. You can use like a, a, a brush, something like that, to cover with this liquid, liquid mask the parts you don't want to paint and then you paint only the parts that uh, you can uh, you don't cover and then you can peel off uh, when it's uh, dry you can peel off the, the uh, liquid part uh, that is like um, flexible material this is this is the another kind so we have uh, the tape and, the, and then we have uh, the liquid mask um, and you can use them wherever you want and when you want. Uh, it all depends of your of the use. I, I'm using every kind of painting mask to paint my figure. Uh, it depends on the design and the colors I'm going to use in my toys. Um, but uh, something that I recommend, but not for everyone, because this is a very expensive thing, is the professional real metallic painted mask and there are a lot there are a few kinds of uh, metallic paints uh, these metallic metal uh, painted masks are the painted masks that the professional use in the factories to make uh, mass production toys um, it's uh, an easy way to paint difficult parts the details of the figure um, and it cost maybe mu as much as all the production for the toy. So they are very, very, very expensive. Uh, and you need to design, you need to, to think about the mask when you are designing the toy. So you need to have uh, all these kind of things in your mind from the beginning because it's going to cost a lot of money if you do wrong. And I have been doing wrong since the beginning. Now I know how to do it, but the figures I have already made, uh, I didn't thought about, didn't think about um, this painted mask. So it cost me a lot of money. I want to say a lot of money, I mean a lot of money because I did very, very well. I'm going to show you uh, two examples of a painted mask. And I'm going to uh, show you uh, the um, Wester 
uh, kind of painting mask. For example, this this one, uh, this uh, painting mask is uh, a painting mask I did for, uh, or the factory did for Captain Bebop, uh, my toy. So this is a very easy principle. You have the head of the uh, toy, uh, and then you want to paint just one uh, detail. In this case, is the uh, eyes and the uh, the head, not the mask, not not this uh, part outside. So you just need to make one of these uh, masks and uh, put it on it, uh, and then if everything works, then you will have only the parts you want to paint and cover. So you, you just paint this part. So this is this is the principle. This is this is why we uh, need the uh, mask. This is why it's very important to have the mask. It's going to uh, make it very very easy for for me to paint this kind of toy or this kind of details. Um, there are a lot of another part, another kind of mask, uh, like for example this one. Uh, this one is for the body, for the uh, back part of Captain Bebop. Uh, these two elements right here. Uh, and if I wanted to paint with for hand, I can do it, uh, but it's uh, easier just to put uh, the toy in the painted mask and paint it there. And those two painted masks are made, are made here in uh, Europe. Uh, they are relative good quality, uh, sturdy and big, but big is the problem here, and the sturdiness too. Um, this one, this is, this is uh, a smaller one, this is okay, uh, you can use it without problem, but this one is taking a lot of uh, place, it's very big, it's not so comf comfortable at all. Uh, so uh, I'm going to show you the difference for the Western kind of a uh, painted mask and the Japanese painted mask. Uh, and you can see the quality, the difference of the quality uh, uh, between those two. Uh, you will also see uh, the price uh, difference. It's not so much price difference, it's, it's like, like in Japan, the, the same uh, painted mask. But, but you will see, you will see how um, people, for example, in, in here in Europe and people in uh, China too, works and people like in Japan uh, works with the quality. Uh, I'm not saying that in, in uh, China, for example, or in Europe, they made uh, less quality products. Uh, the only thing I'm saying is that the products I made here in Europe uh, and also did the same products in Japan. There is a very good difference uh, when, when it came to quality. So this is very important to, to have in mind because I'm completely sure that you will find here in Europe very, 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 very uh, good quality products, but I, I didn't find it yet. This thing here, this is the Japanese one. This is a very, uh, very good uh, painting mask. Very little one, a little one. I, uh, all my painting masks for the, my toys uh, made in Japan are not so big. and uh, very easy to use. I can use one hand to open and close the painting mask and uh, they, are, they are not so, so big, so, so they are perfectly for painting uh, small toys, or toys as big as my toys, for example, Captain Bebop is around 15 centimeters high. Uh, so this toy, this, this painting mask is very good for, for that. Um, for example, if I put uh, the, uh, the element here inside, uh, you will see that it match perfectly uh, on the uh, painted mask. Uh, when I mean perfectly, I mean perfectly. 
uh, you won't find any problems uh, with the painting mask because this is also a quality issue I have with the painting mask here in Europe uh, that when I'm trying to uh, put the, the toy inside the painting mask uh, <clears throat> it, sometimes I have very difficult to paint around because the the, the see you see uh, the mask is not so tight uh, and then you paint you you're painting also not just the element you want to paint but maybe uh, some parts inside the mask because they are not so tight uh, but this one in uh, the Japanese one is very 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 good um, in this case for example uh, in the European one uh, if I use uh, the body of the Captain Bebop and then this part here uh, it works very well but you can see for example here in the belt I'm not sure if you can see in the belt that I will paint the belt too because it's not so tight there uh, and uh, if you could see not sure if you can inside this part here you will see that the eyes uh, and the mouth of the uh, the head on the belt um, is very difficult to match uh, with the design inside the um, figure. Um, so these are the, the quality issues I have with the uh, painted mask in Europe, but uh, I don't have the same kind of issues with the painted mask in uh, Japan. Uh, so. Uh, with that, um, there, there are a few things that you can do if you want to make it better. Uh, for example, if you can uh, warm up uh, the body of the toy and then put it on the uh, painted mask and then it will work perfectly. Uh, so, not perfectly, but better than uh, that it works right now. Uh, another problem I have with the European one is that the uh, mask itself uh, scratches the surface of the toy, scratches also the painted parts that I already did. Uh, so you are painting, for example, the body and then you are with one mask and then you are using another mask to paint one uh, detail of the body. The, the second mask will scratch the first one if you are not um, careful. Um, that's that problem. I don't have that problem with the Japanese mask because I think they are very um, good at, at seeing the progress of the painting of this figure, but also uh, making the inside of the mask a little more soft than so you can scratch as much as the this European. Um, so the, the last thing I wanted to say also about the painted mask is that uh, you don't need <laughs> as much as painted masks as I have uh, because I have a lot of painted masks, a lot of painted masks. I made I don't know how many toys, especially for, for painting this one. Uh, Captain B Pop. Um, this is something that I should tell you before you do the same thing I did, the same wrong thing I did. For example, um, I designed the toy you know, from the beginning with a lot of details, and then I sent it to the factory and they produced both the, the toy and the uh, painted mask for the toy. Um, following my instructions, my color design for the toy and the element. And when I designed the toy, when I was painting and designed it by hand, uh, drawing it, I painted with a lot of colors, a lot of different colors in each detail of the toy. And then I uh, sent it to the factory and they did exactly uh, as much as, uh, as much painted mask as required to paint the toy uh, following my, my design. And that was a big, big, big error because I didn't design the toy thinking about 
the, uh, the painting mask. So when you design a toy, please think about how many painted masks you will need, but also think if you maybe you don't need all the painted masks. An example, uh, that one, this one, to paint uh, these parts here, uh, right? It's very easy to do. I can just cover the, the, the rest of the uh, mask of the toy here and paint these two things. But I can also take a brush and paint those by myself for hand. And it's not so difficult. It's not so difficult if you are doing this, if you have done this a lot of times. Uh, it doesn't take too much time. Uh, maybe it's maybe it's easier that way with a brush than with a painted mask. So this little uh, evil thing here, uh, maybe it cost me around 100 euros, uh, 100 dollars maybe. Uh, just this part. Then you uh, should see uh, the big box, big box around 30. 36 a different uh, painted mask just for Captain Bebop and I'm not using everyone when I'm uh, painting because it's it's, I, 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 it's crazy to use them so that was the biggest one of the biggest errors in my life design a toy uh, without thinking how it will become when when I'm painting it so when you Paint. when you design a toy from the beginning my, my tips for you is make easy forms uh, don't make us over complicated uh, things designs and don't uh, use a lot of colors different colors use maybe three colors uh, and don't make a lot of details of the um, toy in itself uh, because it's going to be well, super super difficult to paint um, if you see uh, Egi here uh, maybe you can see uh, the uh, feathers there are two colors of the feathers there are uh, blue a darker blue and a lighter blue this is also a big problem uh, painting it uh, when I paint this toy for hand I don't paint I don't make this difference of, of color because it's impossible nearly impossible for me to make uh, if I don't make it with the brush and it takes a lot of time uh, and the same is painting uh, this thing this thing for example the, the the head here in the backpack I will use in this case I will use I will design a painting mask uh, because it's very difficult to to paint without a painting mask but if I made a new redesign of Eggy, I should do very, very differently uh, with not so many details uh, and different. Um, the colors are good because there are just four colors, but but the difference in in, in the design is this. Uh, the, the thing that makes difficult for me. And um, so this is the thing I just wanted to show you. Um, uh, I hope you this part, this thing about the painted mask helped you uh, designing and thinking about um, how to make, how to uh, think about a toy before you make the painted mask and also to decide if you really need that painted mask just for this small detail. Um, we will continue making. I will continue making more videos about other things. I want to make a video about uh, the tools I'm using. Uh, I want to make a uh, redo the first um, video I made about making an art toy. I would like to um, go more in detail about all the process from the beginning, from the um, design process to the manufacturing process to the painting process, to the packaging, and then the selling process. The selling process is also very good for that. Because, because if, you, if, you have, if you have a, a toy and you don't sell it, well, yes, you are an artist, you will make a toy, but for what? 
Um, so I hope you like this kind of uh, more improvised uh, videos uh, because it's, um, it's the only way I, I can do it. I, I won't do uh, a lot of uh, um, uh, editing in this kind of videos. I'm just talking and talking. Uh, so I hope you like it. Uh, and uh, please uh, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe also to the newsletters. I will put the newsletters link down here in the description. Uh, and uh, of course, go to uh, my website if you want to support uh, Art Fabula uh, and buy the toys I made there in artfabula.com. Um, this is the only way to support this, this channel. Um, so thank you very much uh, and we'll see you the next time.